My name is Ken Brook with KenBrookHitting.com. I've been doing uh, professional video analysis of pro hitters for the last 10 years and studying the major league swing pattern. Um, one of the problems at the professional level that I've found is that hitting coaches are experts um, at a lot of aspects of hitting, but not necessarily experts at breaking down the biomechanics of a swing using video analysis and comparing those swings to the major league pattern. And that's what I do um, because there are many hitters uh, in the professional level that have swing flaws that they don't know exist and these swing flaws are preventing them from succeeding or even reaching the major league level. Here's one good example. Here's a AAA player been a hot prospect for this organization for about the last five years on the left hand side and one of the best hitters in baseball on the right hand side. First of all we can see that the hitter on the right hand side has a much better balanced uh, lower half. Hitter on the right on the left side is more upright not as much into his legs thus his legs won't be um, a factor in the swing as much as the hitter on the right side. One position that is shown in the major league pattern, we'll see the hitter on the right side get into what I call a connected position, and that's when his hands, his rear elbow, and the stripe of his pants are all lined up. This means the hitter is connecting his hands, his elbow, the bat, basically the swing to the lower half of his body. If we look at the hitter on the right, the AAA hitter, we'll see that he's now synced at the same position as the hitter on the right, but it's very obvious that his hands, his rear elbow, and the stripe of his pants do not line up in a vertical line. That's because the hitter on the left um, pushes his hands forward ahead of his core rotation, thus we would call this disconnected. Another um, byproduct of leading with the hands means that you're not going to get your lower body as involved in the swing. So we can look at the hitter on the right and we can see that his lower half, his rear hip, his back knee is really working well underneath his body. We can tell by that kind of an angle. The hitter on the left, because he leads with his hands, doesn't connect to his lower body we can see that this hitter does not work his lower half. This will cause a decrease in power with the hitter on the left, a decrease in efficiency, and it's a flaw significant enough that in my opinion this hitter will not succeed at the major league level. Um, just to show you that it's a definite pattern, it's not just one hitter, I can pick another hitter um, with just as good of credentials as Pujols. Here's Miguel Cabrera, one of the better hitters in the game. And we can see that when he gets to that landing position, we can see how he's athletic, his knees are bent, excellent position. And we can also see that he's going to get into that connected position with his hands, his rear elbow the stripe of his pants, all in a vertical line. And we can see, according to the major league pattern, that he works his rear knee and his leg underneath his body, showing us that he uses his core and his hips and his lower body to generate power, unlike the hitter on the left. So to summarize, um, there's a lot of good hitting coaches out there, but there are very few that know how to analyze swings and compare them with the major league pattern and discover flaws that will actually prevent hitters from reaching the next level.